Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, KDTV2. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the shoot and death of takeoff from the Migos. So this morning it has been announced and confirmed that the rapper takeoff from the Migos, the Migo group with Offset and Quavo has been murdered, shot dead in Houston, Texas at a bowling alley. Pretty much. He died in front of a bowling alley. Shot in the head. Videotapes of him lying on the ground. Shot dead. Blood all over the place. So now it has been reported that Quavo got shot. But now they're saying that Quavo did not get shot. It was only takeoff and he has been murdered. Now some people say that he was shot because of a dice game. But we know when it comes to black males, anything will trigger them to shoot somebody. So they don't have any control of themselves. They're so emotional. And the first thing they do is go to violence when they get into a disagreement. So apparently it was over a dice game. He was shot dead. Now everybody's talking about it on the Internet. So you're going to have black men and black women saying, Oh, I'm so tired of black people taking each other out. I'm so tired of black men killing each other. Oh, rest in peace, take off. Rest in peace, so-and-so. They do this all the time. But when you see the stories of black women and black children losing their lives at the hands of black males, do you hear that rest in peace? Do you see everybody outpouring of sympathy for these women and children? Of course not. It's the same thing over and over again. Now we're saying that rest in peace, take off. Hopefully he went to heaven and so on and so on. Black males are killing machines. They're out here taking everybody out that they come across. They're even taking each other out. They don't have respect for other black males. They don't have respect for black children, and we already know that they don't care about black women because we're actually being taken out by black males every 4.8 hours now. So it's getting worse. And everybody keeps saying, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of this going on in the black community. They're so toxic. We need to work on it. Black men, you need to raise your sons. You need to raise your kids. That's not going to work. It's the mentality of these black boys and these black males. It's their mentality to wake up every other day and choose violence and destroy other people's lives. Innocent people, innocent victims. So it's not going to change. It's not going to get better. So I don't know why black women keep going on about black men. You need to raise your children. You need to raise your sons. It's the culture. It's always somebody else's fault. It's usually the black woman's fault or the white man's fault. It's always somebody's fault. So it's the same old thing over and over again, crying about a rapper. Even though these rappers promote violence, gang violence, committing crimes and all kinds of things like that, now we're supposed to be crying about them losing their lives when Quavo and Takeoff was at a bowling alley where they had no business being. If you got money, if you're supposedly rich, why are you hanging out in bowling alleys with regular people? Why are you in these places doing the things that regular citizens would do that don't have money like that? Why are you going around these gangbangers and these criminals? Even though these black males are criminals themselves, they continue, they continually put themselves in places they have no business being at. And so they end up getting got. I really don't have any sympathy for these black males that are losing their lives at the hands of each other. It's kind of like karma. It's kind of like the purge. 
and it's taking out all the bad guys. And some innocent people are getting caught up in the crossfire. But it's not going to get better. Every other week, every other month, one of these rappers are being gunned down for pretty much absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. You had the PNB Rock got shot at the chicken and waffle place in Los Angeles. Then you got take off getting shot in the head outside of a bowling alley in Houston, Texas. He's not even from that place. So, hey, it is what it is. Black women better be on their P's and Q's because there's been news that there's been a serial killer going around in Charlotte, North Carolina. A lot of black women are losing their lives in Charlotte, North Carolina right now, and people are going around all over TikTok and social media saying that they believe a serial killer is in Charlotte, North Carolina. I believe there have been six black women lost their lives in the last week and a half. Six black women have been murdered in Charlotte, North Carolina in the last week and a half. Somebody's out here killing people, and I'm pretty sure it's a black male. The black community is never going to change. Every time somebody dies, they do the same thing over and over again. Their children are dysfunctional. The black community is toxic and is not going to get better. The only thing you can do as a black woman, I don't care what age you are, the only thing you can do is divest and get away from it. Stop socializing yourself with the black community, with black women that is committed to the black male and the black community, committed to trying to fix it. Separate yourself from family members that don't bring anything good in your life, that don't benefit your life and help you grow. Separate from these people or you will be caught up in their dysfunction. And you may lose your life. But that's all I have to say about that story. It is what it is. So on Halloween, takeoff from the Migo has been shot dead, shot in the head, murdered, laying outside. There's videotape of him laying outside of the bowling alley, dead on the balcony. You can see the blood all over the floor. He's dead. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like the video, thumbs it up, leave a comment, tell me how you feel about this video, what you think about the whole thing going on with Takeoff being shot dead, um, and how black people, black women, and black men are reacting to the news. And subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. Um, you can also subscribe to my main channel. My main channel is Kara D. K-A-R-A-H-D. When you look it up, you can subscribe to my main channel also. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye now.